Why are there so many single old white guys in Thailand? Cost of living in SE Asia is very low and sex work is very common in Thailand. So it's a common destination for single western men. Thailand is known for adult activities. Money talks so the demographic you described would be attracted to that location. Cheap sex. Cheap cost of living. Good place to retire. Ah, uh, it depends where you go in Thailand. It's like one of the top tourist destinations in the world now. I just went there and saw plenty of young people as well as old retired couples. I honestly was surprised at how little sex work I saw, though clearly it's there somewhere. Krabi is mostly partying young Europeans and families. Phuket is now all Russians. Bangkok has a huge variety of young party tourists on Kawasan Road, old see the temples and get a cheap massage couples, and yes the older John types. Pattaya, which I didn't make it to, is apparently sex work central. Did you happen to go there? I can see that being predominantly old guys. It's for the cheap prostitutes. Looking for Thai brides. Take a wild guess lol my own father frequently travels to Asia for business. He's been to Thailand several times. So it's not a shock that he met my stepmother there, who is an incredible, lovely woman who has really helped to unite our family again. But I'm not naive. I unfortunately know that my dad is a dirty old man and I unfortunately know that he didn't spend all of his time there doing business or wooing my stepmother. Sadly, I know what my dad has told me about how they met, but I definitely question it, as awful as I feel about saying that BC she is so wonderful. I don't really give a crap anyways. A few years back, I took my family on vacation there. We had a great time. The Songkran Festival in Bangkok, the bridge over the Khoi River, canoeing in the jungle, the Holiday Inn Water Park in Wa Hin, the floating markets, the list goes on. My kids had no idea there was a sex tourism industry there. As with most vices, it doesn't come looking for you. You have to go looking for it. That said, I had an interesting experience going through customs. I was the first member of my family to step up to the counter. The customs official was very cold to me, your standard middle-aged white guy. When he asked me the reason for my visit and I told him I was on vacation with my family, his attitude did a 180. His English magically improved. He had them all come up and gave us advice on what to see and do in Bangkok, and was an all-round delightful fellow. They're getting some lady boy. They're looking for 20-year-old wives. Culture there is such that it's not uncommon for 20-year-olds to marry 50-year-olds. Young white guys find plenty of wives here so no need to go. US dollar has high buying power in poor countries like Thailand. The cost of living is also generally lower compared to the US. Additionally, morally questionable asterisk services asterisk are more accessible than Thailand. Thailand gets a bad rap, and somewhat has itself to blame. I visited there as part of a month in SE Asia. I found the country to be really beautiful and the citizens friendly. The culture was interesting, and it was a nice vacation destination. I didn't run into any sex workers or any women overtly while approaching me. Maybe I'm an outlier but this old man had a pretty wholesome time there. Their sex pats and pedos. Retirement visa makes it easier too. My ex's dad went to Thailand in the early 2000s for a sex change operation. Came back a woman. Still probably in the closet to this day. Underage prostitutes. People keep saying, low cost of living and abundance of cheap sex workers when the real reason is that old white guys love pad thai noodles. Are you a single old white guy? Cheap booze. Cheap drugs. Cheap and willing women, cheap housing, cheap food. An average to below average wage American can live like a king in Thailand. My mother's second husband is over there. It's for the reasons you think.